Hi friends, these days my daughter is hooked on to a video game named as Roblox and I am having a tough time getting her off the screen. I am sure most of, our, most of the parents are also facing similar issues at their home. But that got me thinking uh, that is this domain of uh, game development also leveraging AI or generative uh, AI? So I did a little bit of research and found something interesting for you and would like to cover it in today's video. So let's get started. What is game development? If you ask me, I'll say it's a perfect combination of art and technology coming together to give you an immersive experience as a user or as a player. Now, how are these games developed? So, in a simple language, these games are developed in three phases. First one is design phase. Now, this is the phase where the concept art happens, which starts with designing the story of the game, what type of game that you want to design, what would be the theme, what all will be the characters, sound design, your uh, lighting and uh, also this is the stage where all the levels are designed once all the assets are created then we move into game development now in game development there are two things that happens first thing is uh, they use programming languages like c c plus plus java nowadays we also use python um, which makes it much more easier the Another thing that is very important at this stage is using the game engine. Now, what is a game engine? Game engine is uh, something which has a built-in um, resources uh, or we also call it as source engine. And then there are different types of uh, engines which are uh, available. But then the question comes, how do you decide which uh, engine is good for uh, which type of game? That is decided basis the type of game. Now, if you are designing a text based or a 2D game like Mario, then uh, you could uh, definitely use a game maker engine. If you are designing something which is 3D like uh, PUBG, then uh, you will have to use uh, game engine uh, Unreal. However, as a newcomer or as a beginner, uh, most of the time it is recommended to use Unity because Unity um, uh, game engine actually helps you uh, create games which are which will work across different uh, platforms it will work on a console it will work on mobile it will work on uh, your uh, laptop and desktops as well so that's basically uh, all about game development now in terms of uh, how does this gaming industry is doing or what is the potential which is there then uh, currently the projection is that this industry will touch 380 billion dollars by 2023 and it is expected to move to 520 billion dollars by 2027 so a huge potential in this area and if you are someone who is thinking about getting into game development then this is the time where you could uh, jump in now let's look at which are the areas where ai and generative ai are helping gaming industry now let's understand how ai is enabling or acting as a catalyst uh, to this game um, development industry basically the areas wherever there is an artwork required or a creative required that is the area where AI is currently helping so first and foremost is uh, uh, DALI is one of the very effective tool that uh, helps them create all the artwork in terms of uh, the theme, the images, the character designing and other things. Another one uh, where with the capability of generative AI in natural language, uh, the, um, the flawless 
uh, interaction with NPCs. Now, what are NPCs? NPCs are non-player characters. So, you, if you see when you are playing a game, there are some comments which are coming from these NPCs. So, now these are being made uh, so natural that makes you feel much more immersed in that entire uh, experience. Apart from that, in terms of programming, I already told you that Python is uh, uh, a well-known uh, programming language that is being used uh, with its uh, built-in uh, build call as Pygame. So basically, even if you don't have a programming experience, you can still uh, build uh, a, a game today and recently NVIDIA has announced uh, about its real-time NPCs uh, which gives you a unique and a different experience to every individual. So as and when this is moving ahead it's giving you much more enhanced and advanced level of games which will keep you hooked for a longer time. So definitely I'll have a tough time uh, controlling my daughter. So I need to be ready for it. Hope you liked uh, today's video and if you did, please like, share, subscribe and let me know how you felt about it. With that, me Sarika Hussain signing off for today.